Morning everyone, how are you? My name is Jack Ludlow. I'm a salon director of Escape Barbershop Oslo and an industry steering board member for City and Guilds. As you all know, here in Norway, we've all had the green light to go back to our salons. And many people have been asking me about the health and safety regulations regarding PPE, etc. Before we go any further in this video, I'd like to give credit to the NFVB for the amazing job that they've done with the efficiency of putting together the new regulations. I'd also like to say a massive thank you and credit to Salon Director of Escape Hairdressing, David Wyke, for installing the modifications to the salon for going above and beyond the health and safety regulations to enhance the experience as much as possible as he always does. So now let's go inside and we'll show you and talk through some of the things that we have in place. So we're maximizing the use of our salon to minimize the physical hand contact. So as a client comes in, they can just touch the door. They walk straight through. On entering the salon, clients are directed straight to this touchless basin over here. It's automatic. Water appears and then you just sterilize your hands thoroughly. Once you've done that, you can use anti-back in your hands. And this is where you're asked to fill out a form, the declaration for the COVID-19. Again, massive thank you to Sound Director David Wyke for installing this protection glass to ensure that the receptionist is protected at all times. So this is where our magazines would usually be kept, but as you can see, they've been replaced with safety gloves, protective masks, anti-bag and hand cream, and there's also paper towels that can be disposed of at any time. Uh, once again, a safety glass has been installed here between our wash basins, which aren't one meter apart. So just respecting the health and safety regulations there at the wash basins as well. So each of our stations, we've made available anti-bag and paper towels to inform the client's hygiene is at optimum level all day. So realistically, when it comes to tools, I don't think much has changed, because I think as hairdressers and barbers, we tend to sterilize our equipment after every client anyway. However, things like this, with the Isel machine, sterilizing things like this and equipment like this, which we wouldn't normally, which actually does get us thinking that perhaps we should be doing this on a regular basis. So in regards to changes and what's happening in the salon, I would say things like that are the only real changes the one meter being apart, the flexi glass and the glass protection, those sort of things. However, I think the experience as a whole on a day-to-day -day basis is going very, very well. I'm now just gonna cover some of the health and safety and PPE rules that have been implemented for the NFVB and the Norwegian government. So, if a staff member is ill or experiencing even the most minimum of fever, they must stay at home. If they start to develop any symptoms, they must leave the workplace immediately. No clients who are experiencing even the most minimum of fever should be accepted or booked in. As a business, we must implement the most necessary hygiene measures that I'm about to read out. Employees must wash or disinfect their hands before and after each client. Uh, there must be possibilities to wash or disinfect hands available to all customers as they come and leave the business. There will only be the use of disposable paper towels available to both staff and clients after washing their hands. All rooms, toilets and wash basins or anything like the sort should be cleaned once daily and these times must be documented. All door handles, stair railings, bank terminals, cash registers and other objects must be cleaned frequently several times per day and all other services must be cleaned at the same ratio. And all forms of tools which are used for services throughout the day must be thoroughly sterilised several times. All textiles such as robes and towels must be changed each time a different client is present and the fabrics must be washed at temperatures higher than 60 degrees. All serving of food and drink, including tea and coffee, is prohibited to each customer and the business should not have any magazines or newspapers available in any waiting area. So there must be one meter of space between each client or employee in the salon at one time. But given the case of cutting a fringe or doing a shave or something like this, then each employee must wear a face mask to conduct the service. Also, anyone in our client base which has been detected with a possibility of infection or been surrounded by someone with a COVID-19 virus needs to be documented in our system. Obviously, they're going to be refused, but each of our clients, when they come in, signs a form of declaration stating that they haven't been around these circumstances. The use of phones are 90% prohibited, but in the event of an emergency or if someone needs to deal with something at work, 
we do have antibacterial wipes available to wipe these devices down to make sure they're sterilized at all times. So guys, here's an update from Norway, uh, the procedures that we're putting in place and we're taking. I hope this answers the questions that have been frequently asked to me. Uh, if you have any more questions, please follow the links below and use the contact details below to get to us and reach out. Uh, as always, please stay safe. The main thing here is that we are all safe. I hope things come back together as soon as possible. But yeah, just take care and God bless. Have a good day.